Well, Boise State's date with Dayton in the first four is now just one day away. For Derek Marks and the Broncos seniors, a loss in the big dance would mean the end of their college careers. Sports director Paul Gerke has more from Dayton. One could argue that Derek Marks has meant more to Boise State basketball than any player in the history of the program. The school's third all-time leading scorer has shined brightest in his biggest moments in blue and orange. But now the sun is setting on his collegiate career, and Wednesday night could be a curtain call for this legendary performer. It'll be like Paul Bunyan tales as far as the way he closed out games. I'll be telling kids four or five years from now, like, well, you're not going to believe what this guy did and how he did it, and, and I'm sure it'll even grow and grow. The legend of Derek Marks isn't limited to Boise. It extends two time zones eastward into the locker room of the Dayton Flyers. He's unique in a way that he doesn't get sped up. He's never out of control, um, and he's physically uh, very, very tough. Strong competitor. You know, he's able to, um, to you know, score in, in many different ways, and that's something that we're going to have to have a team approach on him. When you deal with guys like him, you're at their mercy a little bit. You just try to make things difficult, and you're going to try to challenge some shots, but he's going to score some points, too. Mark struggled from the field in Boise State's Mountain West tournament loss to Wyoming, going just 6 of 21 from the floor. But nobody in Dayton, including Derek, expects him to have another bad game. We kind of forgot about last game already. We're just looking forward to playing this game, we can't worry about the last game anymore. All of our teammates, all of our coaches, uh, and hopefully all of Bronco Nation trust Derek Marks. Uh, I know in the locker room we do, and on the floor we do. So when Derek isn't making shots, we know that's pretty atypical, you know. Um, Derek's going to make shots, so we're not too worried about that. As a competitor, he, he should be fired up regardless if, you know, he made every shot or not. Um, that's, that's something that I feel like we, we all as competitors have in us. It's the NCAA tournament. We're here. We're ready. So if you don't have an edge, I don't know what you're here for. The great thing about Derek, he's got really broad shoulders, and he can, you know, he takes a lot of big shots for us. He makes a lot of big shots, and he can handle when it doesn't go perfect for him. He's a tough enough kid to be able to handle it. And, and he'll bounce back from it. Before practice, we had a talk that uh, a seniors feel like our back is up against the wall, and we don't want tomorrow to be our last time that we put on a Boise State jersey, so we're going to do everything we can for that not to happen. After Boise State was bounced from the Mountain West tournament, Coach Rice stuck alongside his prize scorer. We dance with the one who brought us, he quipped. Now that they're here in Dayton, Derek's next dance will be the big one. Reporting from University of Dayton Arena, Paul Gerke on your side.